Hey, Marvel Mission Videos here, back in the video, and today, yes, we will be reviewing the Captain America Sam Wilson, Captain America Steve Rogers 2-pack. And, yeah, let's get into it. Well, I'm gonna show you off the back because the front is, hey, it's okay. Um, yeah, on the back it says, Wielding the shield and the new wings from Wakanda, Sam Wilson takes up the mantle of Captain America to bring hope to an uncertain world. And for Captain America Steve Rogers, it says, Shaken up by the events of Infinity War, Steve Rogers takes up the shield and mantle of Captain America once more to face Thanos. And yeah, on the side, nice promo art of Sam Wilson, Captain America. And on the other side, nice promo art of Captain America Steve Rogers. Boring legally is on the bottom. Nice pot varnished uh, Captain America shield. And empty. But don't worry, I have the figures on the side. And yeah, let's get right into it. And here we have the two figures out of the packaging. And overall, I think they look great. They look really, really cool. Um, especially since I missed out on both these figures, because uh, I'm too lazy to get the other rest of the wave for Falcon, and I thought the original one didn't look that good. Especially with that, like, orange-red shield. And this one was a very expensive figure, which is like 70 bucks. It's not even an import figure, so I just didn't think it was worth it at the time. But now that I have them both in hand, they look great. Um, let's just talk about the nice details. Uh, I'll put him to the side. And, oops, I'm sorry. And uh, let's look at Steve Rogers. He looks really, really cool. But he has a nice red shield. I don't know accessories, but like, I think he's a bit different from the original release because i think it was a much darker like closer to like infinity war captain america or at least the original release for it but i think this one looks really nice has some like it looks like bad paint but it's actually like a nice silver detail which i think that's kind of cool but people might misconceptualize that and has like some nice little like lighter browns over here to like uh well not snuff out the details but like make it pop out but that looks pretty cool and for this Captain America, I think it's pretty much just the same figure, but I think with some maybe like minor paint details added, I don't know, I don't have the original or haven't looked at the original one too much, but it looks pretty cool. As a pack, oh, that's an accessory that didn't come on him originally, but he has a Captain America pack. But I think he probably has like uh, paint differences from the original, but I don't know though. But overall, this figure looks pretty cool. I'll put it on the back. Anyways, um, let's get on to the access. Oh, okay. Let's get on to the accessories. And we're gonna take a look at Sam Wilson's Captain America shield first because I think that's the most interesting. Because look at this. This looks really cool. Um, has I think it's the same shield as the Steve Rogers on the back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's pretty much the same thing. Like new details like these little like nails or I don't know how to describe it. But um but like little but especially this part, this like little indent. I think it's kinda weird, but I'm used to this. But this is pretty cool. I like it. It's unique to the Sam Wilson Captain America. This is a normal Captain America shield that we've seen multiple times that I broke in on purpose and then didn't make it look good. And it ended up throwing away the original. So I'm gonna try and keep this one in pristine condition and find another one to hopefully make it to like an end game broken cap shield. But other than that, these shields are pretty cool. And Falcon does come, or not Falcon, Captain America Falcon, or Captain Falcon, comes with two fisted hands. And they look nice. They're better than the original release where it didn't have the fisted hands and just only the splayed out open hands. But this is pretty cool. Nice paint detail. No, like, plastic rubbing or anything, or mix-up paint splotches. There's, like, a little bit of silver right here, but I can just always, like, maybe acetone that off. And it comes with two heads. One is new and one is reused, but looks way better, in my opinion. Here's a Steve Rogers head, which I think looks cool. It has a more accurate, like, brown blonde hair, which I think it's more film accurate. Oops. Which I think it's more film accurate, and overall, it looks really nice. It, I think it encapsulates uh, Steve Rogers or what's his name? Chris Evans really well. And yeah, has a nice sculpt. Doesn't have that much like, well, not the thing that it doesn't have, but it's really nice. And then here's the newly released, what's his name? Sam Wilson, AKA, dang, I can't remember the actor's name. Um, Give me a minute. But yeah, his head looks pretty accurate. I like it. I think his forehead's a bit too big in my opinion. I don't think he has that much of a large forehead. Anthony Mackie, that's the name. 
Well, I don't think he has that much of a big forehead, but overall it looks pretty accurate. And I really like it. But we will get into the articulation segment, so put this aside, and yeah. Here we have Falcon Winter Soldier, Captain America, and our articulation segment. You can look, oops, you can look up this far, look for down, head pivot, full 360, has neck rotation, so you can move the neck if you want. Full three, oh, that's tough. Full 360, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, that's tight. I'll give about this arm. That's tight, might have to get loose, but double jointed elbows doesn't really go much up because it has a bunch of bulk up here. Hinge swivel, no, same for this hand. Nice ab crunch, nice back, upper, or, I don't know, waist swivel, upper thigh swivel, kick out this far, double jointed knees, pinless, of course, that was over the arms. Nice ankle pivot, kicks out this far, kicks out this far in, and yeah, he's a really awesome figure. I wish the shoulders weren't so, like, iffy, because you can't get him up that much without maybe uh, risking paint rub. But we can go on with the Captain America articulation. All right, so we can look up this far up, this far down, not much rocker, full 360. You can have all the way out, oh wait. Okay, never mind. I thought it was like ruining it, but no, okay. So he can go all the way parallel, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. One hand can go uh, forward and back, one goes side to side. I said double jointed elbows right. Nice crunch, ab crunch, ab back crunch, full 360, upper waist swivel, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, boot rotation, ankle, or his ankle can go out this far, go this far in, nice ankle pivot, and yeah. Uh, I only have one gripe with this Captain America, and that is he's short compared to like any other figures that I have. Like, Standing next to Anthony Mackie, Anthony Mackie is hunched down and he's taller, which I don't really like that. So I'm going to add these little things because they fit inside the boot because I tested it out earlier and it gives them some height. So yeah, I'm going to add those and see how that looks later on. But let's do scale and comparison between these awesome figures. Alrighty. Well, here's a custom modified uh, Marvel Legends Iron Man, which I made him look shorter. Oops. And I still have to, I trim down his ankles to make him look shorter and I still have to like smooth it out so it looks more slim. Okay. He can stand, but it's kind of tricky right now because I haven't finished like fully modifying him. But that's, okay. Well, you can see how tall he stands next to them, both each. I think he's a tad bit smaller than each of them. Yeah, but I like the smallerness or the shorter scale of this Iron Man. And here we have Marvel Legends Zombie Cap, which looks amazing next to them. I think he's, oh my god, he's a tad bit taller. That kind of makes me sad, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to add this articulation anyways. And he fell again. That's not fun. Oh, man, that's kind of disappointing. He can't stand up very well. I don't like that. Um, here we have customized SH Figure Arts Infinity War Captain America. They stand relatively close to each other's heights. And then here we have U.S. Agent John Walker. Okay. And then you kind of put him over here. I'm going to try and have him catch up to the height. So he came from this show, and he's pretty tall. So I'm going to try and get it up to that size. And here he is next to Sam Wilson, Captain America. Here is Muffex, Medicom Muffex. Thor standing next to him and he's slightly taller but he looks pretty good next to him and slightly taller than him as well and oh I dropped the lightning effect but it's right here and here is SH Figure Arts Iron Man he's short likes to him next to Captain America which that feels that makes me happy because Iron Man's supposed to be short and here he is next to I'm not actually sure where it's uh, Marvel Legends Falcon. Anyways, and one last comparison. Thanos! And here I am having a custom cape on him. And this is how tall he is compared to them, which I think is a good height. 
Wait, he's not even standing up straight. Oops. Oh, now he's standing up straight. Yeah, he's a lot taller. But that's pretty cool overall. And yeah, that concludes my review. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hope you guys can like, share, subscribe. And yeah, leave a comment below. And I'd appreciate it if you like. Anyways, uh, goodbye.